if you're involved in an auto accident, you need to know your rights when making a claim for a newer vehicle. Well, Catherine Stone from Injury Florida Law is here to explain. How are you? Good, how are you? I am well. Well, this is one of those where I have a story. Yeah. <laughs> story time with Catherine. Love stories. So, you know, it's it's not too, too often that we have individuals who come to me um, for representation and they have a brand new vehicle or they have a vehicle that's less than a year old. Mm -hmm. It's brand new and it's less than a year old. It just, they, for some reason, it just doesn't happen a lot. <laughs> I guess that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and on part, so one of the first things I ask, um, especially if, there's talk of the vehicle being totaled is how much do you still owe on that vehicle because yeah. they may not the way that the companies value what they do a total loss is may not necessarily be what you still owe on that vehicle so one of the first things we look at is do you have gap insurance and so gap insurance is one of those that if you have a newer vehicle if you're buying a brand new vehicle and again I'm not an insurance agent but as you're a friendly lawyer, I would strongly suggest you look into gap insurance because if you drive that car off the lot and get involved in an accident 24 hours later, what they're going to pay you for that vehicle may not be what you actually owe on that vehicle at that point in time. Because that's when a car is involved in an accident, it automatically reduces the value of that vehicle. And um, that's if it's a total loss or even if you, mm -hmm. it's not a total loss. So for instance, um, I have a, a, a client that recently came in, very, very new truck, a 2018 truck, um, was not a total loss, but had significant damage. And one of the, uh, the property damage had already been fixed by the time this client came to me. So I wasn't involved in any of that. But I said to the client, okay, well, has anyone talked to you about diminished value of your truck? Because you have a very new truck, mm -hmm. and there's actually, in the state of Florida, you can have a diminished value claim for the loss of what you have suffered in the value of that vehicle. Mm. We don't typically do them on older vehicles, um, but newer vehicles, I usually try to look at it within two to three years old, depending on the value of the vehicle and the type of the vehicle. So there's actual companies that we hire that will actually go out, they inspect the vehicle, they uh, review all the damages that were done, and um, they basically have some program or system that they can come up and say, okay, this vehicle was worth this prior to the accident. Mm -hmm. After the accident, even with the you know, factory repair parts, it's now this much less because of that. And so it's an actual, I kind of view it as you know, an additional type of property damage claim. Mm -hmm. So is this, to be able to do this, is that if a person does not have that gap insurance or they no, do have No, you can do it, you, you can still do, you can, st well, if you're gonna get a total loss, you're not gonna have a diminished value claim. Okay, it's um, only if it's not the total loss. So the gap really applies when you have a total loss. Okay. Um, and I guess I should have clarified that a little bit, but the gap is more for if you have a total loss Okay. That's one thing that people should just be mindful of. You know, you just buy a brand new truck for $30,000, you drive it off the lot and get involved in an accident a week later, it's not going to be a $30,000 truck even if they put factory pieces back on it. Yeah. Um, and you may not get even what you still owe on it, depending on what you put down on the vehicle. So that's the importance that's of where that. Comes that's in. where the gap insurance but the comes other option. But is the other option not. is you have a newer vehicle, it's not a total loss, um, but it is significantly now decreased in value because it's now been involved in an accident. Mm -hmm. huh. That's interesting. And again, that is something that you wouldn't think of, you wouldn't know about unless you had someone like Catherine on your side and uh, can help help you in any situation <laughs> I'm finding, help give some clarification. We well, try to check all the boxes. <laughs> and I like that. You know I don't, so I'm glad you do. If you want more information from Catherine and see how she can help you, well, of course, you can give her a call today or you can visit her at the website you see on the screen along with the phone number and even address. As always, Catherine, we appreciate when you're here.